Welcome 2009 Hyundai Accent oil change. First thing you're going to want to do is take your car out for a little spin. Get the oil nice and warm so that it is easy to drain. Okay, these are some of the items you're going to need to do the oil change and tire rotation. Okay, first thing you want to do is remove the outer cap, put that aside there. I bought these, I had these ones here, I gotta repaint them, they're the original Hyundai caps, but these ones I just bought at the store. So what you want to do is you're going to want to take your breaker bar, so I just bought one socket from the store, real good one. So what we're going to do is, you're going to want to start. You'll notice that the nuts, this one's a special lock nut, so you're going to have to find your set of lock nuts. And that one just fits on there like that. Let's see here. Uh, it should lock right in. There you go. So what you're going to do is you're going to go counterclockwise. Do not use your torque wrench when you do this because you can ruin your, your torque wrench. You want to use a breaker bar. So. You're going to want to go counterclockwise and crack the bolts loose. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you jack up the car. See the jack? It's sitting between the two points, the two markings, the two indents, and the jack stands right beside it. You only want to jack the car up just enough to get the tire off the ground, and then you just want to Release the pressure off the jack. And then you're going to put the jack over here, jack it up a little, and move the stand over to the markings. And that's how the proper way to jack up the Hyundai Accent. Okay, so now that the car is jacked up, we're just going to remove all the wheel nuts. Na, 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 na. Okay, you're going to take the tire off, and you're just going to put it aside. Okay, now that the tires are off, you're going to you're going to the car there. Let me see that. Okay, place your oil pan and your and your towel or whatever you want to do to, to catch the oil if it misses underneath the car and we're gonna remove the cap first on the cap is the oil type SW 5W20 GF3 so that that's nice put that aside and we're gonna remove the dipstick put that aside Hyundai uh, suggests that you use Quaker State oil that would be 5W20 but I don't think you need to do that. You can choose whatever oil you want. So there's two types of oils. There's synthetic and there's regular. I would suggest using just the regular because you're going to do your oil changes every 6,000 kilometers or every three months, whatever whatever comes first, according to the Hyundai man. You're also going to need a uh, oil filter. There's many different types of products. And you would find your model, make a model in this book here. Just look up the number and then pick the appropriate oil filter. I suggest uh, just go for the regular one because, you know, the premium long-lasting ones are really pointless. Okay. Come over here, Kelly. Okay. Under here. Let's see that there. Okay. Under here, we're going to do the oil change from the side of the car, not under the car. So, you're going to want to remove this dust cover right here, and that will give you access to the oil pan drain bolt and the fuel and that oil filter that's behind the dust shield. So, we're going to do that now. We're going to remove that. Be right back. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is bolt right there there's 
one bolt right under there. Remove those two bolts, they're 10 millimeter. And remove that dust shield. Okay, now that the dust shield's removed, there's access to your oil filter. And let's see here. That is your oil plug right there. So we're gonna grab our breaker bar. We're gonna put the pan underneath there and break that bolt loose. And we're gonna be using a 17 millimeter socket for the oil pan bolt. So we're gonna break that loose and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the oil pan bolt. On the oil pan bolt is a gasket. You're gonna to wanna to replace this. See how it's starting to indent in there? When you tighten it, it breaks the washer and locks it in so the bolt doesn't come out. So you're gonna to wanna to buy yourself some of these. You can use either rubber, plastic ones, or metal ones. But go to your local uh, auto parts store and they'll fit you with the right the right gasket for the oil plug. And this is what it looks like with the new the new washer on the oil pan drain bolt. So you want to put your new washer on. You want on. to get your new oil filter. Take some fresh oil and roll some on the gasket. Make sure this gasket is on the old oil filter and not on the engine. If it is, you got to take it off the engine because if you have, this remains on the engine, it'll leak once you start the car up. So that's pretty much it. So you just do that. The oil filter just a little bit. Just enough to get the oil up there. Okay, so now that we're underneath the car, this is where you're gonna put the oil filter on. You're gonna turn it on hand tight, and then once it's done hand tight, you're gonna give it three quarters of a turn, and that should be tight enough to keep the oil filter on the car. Okay, so there's the new oil filter on, hand tight. And the oil plug is back in. You can see it right in the corner there, right there. Now you're going to wipe off any residue oil off of here. That way it's all nice and clean and all the oil. And you're going to expose the oil, ex dispose of the oil properly. You can contact your government and find the places to dispose of it. Don't just dump it down the drain. Okay, so now we're going to torque that bolt with our torque wrench, which is here. This torque wrench will fit perfectly just like that. That's why I removed the dust shield. And then you can torque that bolt to 32 and a half foot pounds of torque. And once the torque wrench goes click, that I left bolt the dust shield off because we need to test it for leaks before I put the dust shield back on. So we're going to fill this with oil right here. You're going to need a funnel like this. It's got measurements on it. And you're going to measure 3.3 liters of oil. Okay, so we're going to pour this in here. And we're going to measure 3.3 liters. It's pretty basic. And there's one liter. Mm -hmm. Okay, 3.3 liters are now put into the engine. And any oil residue off. Put the engine cap, oil cap back on until it clicks. Get your dipstick, oil dipstick. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start the car. We're going to run it for a minute or two. And then we're going to check the oil filter 
for leaks and the oil plug. See if there's any leaks down in the area we worked on. And if there's no leaks, we're going to put the dust shield back on and then we're just going to shut the car off and take a reading with the oil dipstick. And you're going to see here it says F and L. You're going to want to make sure the oil is up to the dot where the F is. And then you're going to want to drive the car and throughout the week periodically check your oil level and make sure that it stays around full. And that's pretty much it. So there's your uh, 2009 Hyundai Accent oil change. It's supposed to be done every 6,000 kilometers or every three months, whichever comes first. And don't forget to log the kilometers on the receipt when you buy the stuff. So if it comes down to warranty issues, you can prove that you've done this because uh, they require this to be done that, at that interval up in Canada. Now, if you come over here, the tire rotation is pretty basic. Now that the tires are off, your tire rotations are going to go from Okay, so we're going to check the oil here uh, before we've done the video. I just started the car, ran it for a bit. Put it back down. Check it. There you go. Right to the full line. It's exactly where you want it. So, and I checked underneath the car. There's no leak, so you're going to put the... Come over here, Kelly. I'm going to put that dust shield back on. Um, don't forget that. Um, you want to look underneath the car at the oil filter, see if there's any leaks or anything before you put the dust shield back on. So, And last but not least, once you're done rotating the tires, come over here, just point, put it down there. You're going to want to grab some, uh, some of this stuff. It's anti seize lubricant and you're just going to want to put a little bit on the, each of the threads what that does that uh, helps you get the bolts off later when you got to change your tire so and once that's done you're going to put these bolts on you're going to want to grab your torque wrench and you're going to want to set it to 80 foot pounds And then you gonna want to torque. You want to hand tight these before you drop the tire, like drop the car onto the ground from the jack. So you put these on hand tight. You do all four like this. And once you're satisfied that they're all hand tight, you're gonna drop the car down, and you're gonna to torque in this pattern. You go this bolt to this bolt to this bolt to this bolt. And you're just gonna keep doing that pattern until the whole tire is torqued and tight and on there. And then you're just going to put back the hubcaps and you're pretty much done. So that's it. I just want to add that video to the, uh, this part to the video because I forgot. And that's about it. So that's pretty much takes care of the oil change and tire rotation. You want to do your tire rotation every second oil change. And you're going to do your oil change, like I said, every 6,000 kilometers or every three months, whichever comes first. And don't forget to check the pressures on these tires. Um, I think it's 32 PSI for these tires and 60 PSI for the spare tire of the trunk. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.